Okay, so I'm set up here. Um, so what it is, I, I, uh, I've got the gas block installed using the dimples to time it. I've got these long one inch 1032 set screws installed. Also threw the barrel nut on. Um, so once I go to put the upper together, I'm, I'm ready to go. I don't necessarily have to pull this block back off once it's pinned. Um, so what I've got here is this is our new, um, what we're calling our Mark IV adjustable gas block drilling jig. So um, this is kind of the culmination of obviously four iterations of a, of a universal system for, for drilling gas blocks. Our original drilling jigs are, were a blo are a block style jig such as this um, that fit around the, the perimeter of the of the gas block. So that's really limiting as far as what it can be used on um, and obviously quite costly, you know, uh, if you're doing a lot of different gas blocks um, to have multiple uh, block style jigs is, is pretty costly. So um, I focused on trying to develop uh, a solution for drilling gas blocks um, that could be used on anything. And, and um, our initial product lineup uh, used a couple uh, a rear blocks such as this with a, with a front block and a drilling arm. And, and that got to be, um, and that wasn't a super great solution, wasn't very robust, um, and it was costly to produce. As well as our, our, our second iteration was a, is a beam style, which is, this is actually a component to that that jig um we have a beam that that spans out and, and picks up uh, the gas block uh, for drilling and again that uh this was a, a costly piece to produce with this long slot milled in the beam and stuff so um so our next iteration is is this guy here uh, i've got a delrin body so it uh you know it's not gonna scratch the the surface of the gas block um slotted adjustable drilling arm here um, it's got a number 31 bushing on this end and a, a 532nd bushing on this end. So this, this end is for Geisley gas blocks that have the, uh, that have the larger, um, 532 boss already on them for drilling. So that'll work on that. And then it could also be used on a sander block if you wanted to go with a, with a, with a larger pin, larger than eighth of an inch. So what I've done here is, uh, so I've measured this gas block. It's 180 thousandths, um, from the the bore to the bottom and then i know this uh this bushing is a quarter inch so it's a eighth of an inch to the center so 180 plus 125 we got 305 thousandths so that's how i've set that up on here using the caliper um so i've got uh 305 thousandths from the from the face to the top of the bushing to get me uh, at this 180 thousandths center to the center of the bushing so what that'll do is that'll set this uh, this drill bushing up right on the OD of the barrel. So it'll put half the pin in the barrel, half the pin below the barrel. So I'll get this set up and I'll come back. Okay, so I've got the new jig set up here, the new drilling jig set up. Um, got a one inch overall gas block length. Um, this bushing is a quarter inch, so I've set it at uh, three quarters of an inch from the face to the face of the, the bushing to center it. <clears throat> sitting on the two set screws here in the slot and I've got this nut tightened up you can also see the bushing is as close as it can get to the gas block dump drip a little bit of cutting oil in there and I'm going to start with a three millimeter carbide end mill just to get that that flat milled switch over to a number 31 carbide drill bit and I'm using carbide just because of the nitride finish on the barrel and gas block if you didn't have that finish you wouldn't need to do that you could just use high-speed steel tooling
bushing moved on us or we didn't have it reefed in there, so. Clean the chips off the drill. Add some more oil. That's always the indicator you're almost through when that thing binds up on it. I'm going to back it out one more time. And we're through. So I'll pull a, pull a jig off, I'll clean this up, and then we'll be back. So, off camera, I went ahead and I reamed our hole with the... Uh, point one two four seven doll pin chucking reamer and i installed a heavy duty coil roll pin if you notice i did have an issue with my setup um i think between takes there i uh when i set that back up it shifted to the to the breech end a little bit so not quite where i wanted it i wanted it centered but uh so you gotta take your time and, and double check things um but yeah we got our pin installed and that's the uh that's the gist of this jig. So the beauty of this jig is um, based on the fact that it, it mounts to the gas block, it's uh, really, um, it really is universal. So as long as you're using a, a 1032 or a number 10 set screw, you can, can use this jig. So it's not gas block journal dependent. It's not, uh, you know, dependent on the, on the shape of the block. So you can for sure just uh, bolt it up and get it set up and, and drill away so um if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me um I'm usually pretty quick to respond so um hope uh hope if somebody learned something from this and uh have a good one thanks <laughs>